The GTX 1660 Super was released in November 2019, with a retail price of $229 or £200. It has 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM and has 1408 CUDA cores. I made a video benchmarking it in 4K, but now that there's still no graphics card to take its place, I guess it's still pretty relevant, even if no one can buy one. So the first game is Valorant. This game normally runs well at 1080p, but this is 8K. 16 times the number of pixels as 1080p. So I turned the game down to the lower settings of 8K and set the base canvas revolution of OBS to 8K. I then went to the range as I didn't want to ruin someone else's game and it performed surprisingly well, much better than any other game performed at 8K. However, you'll notice the high amounts of lag which was just on the recording. The way I can fix this is buying a capture card. But I have no money, so please subscribe so I can make better content. I realise now that I haven't told you how I did this. On a 4K TV, I changed the dynamic super resolution to 4x4K, which is 8K, meaning every game I played is rendered in 8K. So I messed up for the recording for CSGO, however, I'll give a visual representation of how the game's recording looked like. So you can see that it looked extremely smooth with around 1 FPS. Uh, so actually, let me just uh, pause it and let's uh, do that. And... Wait, how do I... Oh yeah, escape. Okay, there we go. Okay, so actually I'll just put up the MSI Afterburner stats that I got when running the game on the top left and some riveting gameplay that I recorded in 1080p. The stats are from gameplay with 8K lower settings and you can see that the graphics card is being used close to 100% and the processor is barely doing anything at all. And similarly to Valorant, not all the VRAM is being used, which is the only reason why we're not getting 1 FPS. You might think that it was playable, but the tearing was awful when I played the game in 8K, likely because I had to reduce the refresh rate to 29 Hz to get the dynamic super sampling to work. Using VSync lowered the FPS to around 10 and didn't fix the problem. So 8K only really seems to work with a Valorant so far. Next is Apex Legends, where I used lowest settings, 8K. Then when I applied that, whatever this is happened. I expected it to crash after that, but then the game accepted 8K for a short while with about zero FPS, then crashed due to an engine error. And before I carry on, I'm going to be thanking everyone who subscribed to me in the past 7 days for every video from now on, and has made it public, so thank you Jeep Jeep and Valentin TSNU, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for subscribing. Then I played Rust on lower settings and loaded into a creative world. Again, I messed up the recording, so I'll do the same thing as I did for CSGO, and have the MSI Afterburner stats in the top left and some epic gameplay that I recorded in 1080p. Overall, the game ran horribly at 0 to 1 FPS. The graphics card wasn't even maxing out because the 6 gigabytes of VRAM on a 1660 Super isn't enough for 8K in most games. I think that's maybe some of the normal RAM was being used as extra VRAM as the game was using 4GB more RAM than usual, but I could be wrong. The highest FPS the game achieved was 2, which I would call far from playable. And one more thing you can see is that the CPU is being used by around 30-40%, to 40%, which normally in Rust my CPUs at 1080p is being used at about 70-80%. to 80%. For Rainbow Six Siege, I'm doing the same thing again, and using the MSI Afterburner stats with smooth gameplay. You can see that every while the Afterburner stats say the game is running at 4, 8 or so FPS, but the stats aren't updating every second like they normally do, and this is because the recording was lagging out heavily due to the 100% GPU usage that the game was using. Capture card. Playing the game at 8K was close to impossible due to constant stutter and tearing, but there isn't much else to say apart from the fact that the 6GB of VRAM 
is being pushed to its max and that the CPU is barely being used at all. So, what did we get from this video? 8K is too hard to render for a 1660 Super, even at lower settings and 6GB of VRAM is nowhere near enough VRAM to get smooth frame rates. So something like an RTX 3080 or an RX 6800 would be enough for 8K low or so medium settings at refresh rates above 60. But good luck finding one. And the processor doesn't matter much when running a game at this high of a resolution. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.